Hello everybody, happy Sunday. I know it's weird me making a Sunday video, but my husband had to go to uh, work for a little bit and I was like, hey, I'll just go ahead and get this out of the way. Okay, so I wanted to show you a few things that I've picked up since um, since Friday. And don't mind the kids are, you know, with me in a week, so you'll hear them. Okay, hubby and I went to um, um, Target. I think it was like Friday, Saturday, something like that. And while I was there, I grabbed this Lightning McQueen thing for the pumpkin. And it was originally $6. And I think I got it for like 70 cents. So I grabbed that. And then, let me, that was the first biggest thing. So I'm going to have to, I have this little basket of stuff all filled. Okay, and this is Target. Okay, and then I found these on clearance for 68 cents. And I found these for 68 cents. There was more, I just only got these few. And then these for 68 cents. And then these, these are um, pumpkin invitations, but doesn't that look like a vintage pumpkin? And, you know, they're just one, it's not open like a card, so you can like glue that to something. And then envelopes, and it was 19 cents. What is the matter with you, dude? Just growling. So that was Target. Mm, yeah, that was Target. Um, I also had bought a, a big bag of candy corn that um, was also, also these weren't 70% off, it was 90% off. <clears throat> So the, that huge giant bag of candy corn was like 70 cents. So anywho, I had stopped at Big Lots because I was I went to a wedding yesterday and I wanted to look for um, curling iron and stuff like that, which I did find, but I also grabbed this while I was there. And I was going to use this to like make her, her wedding card, but I didn't. But I didn't have this one. I like these frames here. You can put whatever you want. I can even use them because they're. Uh, I can use them for Christmas and stamp Merry Christmas in there. So, yeah, I picked that up for a big loss. I think that was the only thing scrapbooking wise. Okay, then I had went to. Um, oh, I had to go to. Um, to Ross, to, uh, I, well, I didn't have to go. I just went there to look for a dress for the wedding. And um, they didn't have very much scrapbooking stuff. So when I left there, I stopped at Michael's. And I picked these up. And these are, I hear ya. These are 12 pieces. And these were $1.99. But I had the 25% off. Look, he wants me to squeak this duck. Here you go. <laughs> They, I had the 25% off your entire order, um, so I got these little plastic snowflakes. I got these little wreaths, and I got these little buttons. Then, oh, and I got this little snowflake punch, the tiny little ones. And I also, now i got to put everything back in my bucket to get to the last thing. <laughs> oh, sorry. I also got this paper pad, old Christmas tree. It's really cute. has some nice papers. And see, the edges are sort of, like, distressed. But that's distressed with, like, glitter. Some cutouts there. See the distressed edges? Some sleeves. So yeah, that's what I got with that. Um, these were already like forty percent off, and then like the twenty five percent off your entire order, and. I used that, the coupon that came in the paper. So then yesterday, um, my husband and I, after the wedding, we were going to go to Hobby Lobby, 
which there's like one in like you know a 40 mile radius of us and then the, the next one is like as you get close to Georgia and um, it was 45 minutes away and it, 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 the wedding took so long and then we came home and the kids were napping and I was like oh I know we're not gonna make it on time because they closed at 8 so I just went to um, Michael's and I used the 25% off coupon from my email so I was able to do it again but this time I have my receipt, so I'll be able to tell you what I got stuff for. Okay, the first thing on my receipt, I got this. The H2O brush. And this is the medium tip. Um, I used my 40% off um, coupon and the 25% off. So it came down to $3.60 from $8.99. The next thing I got, my husband and my daughter make cookies. So I got this, this is the next thing on the receipt, the metal Christmas tree. Um, they were regularly 99 cents. We were at Target and they wanted um, $4.99 for one cutter that, that was this size. And the sad part is, is the bucket that they were in, the bin or whatever, was almost empty. So people were paying like $5 a cookie cutter. But anyways, with the 25% off, it came down to 74 cents. Okay. The next thing are these. These cling stamps. The borders. Well, it says... It says borders, but... Anyways, I like the Christmas lights. Look at the banner. Wishing you the happiest holidays. And this one with the birds. So, the recollections, I think it was 40% um, off of the, all of all of the recollections rubber stamps. But with the 25% uh, the off, this came down to $3.74. For these okay the next thing on my thing was this I got this recollections tinsel glitter really nice colors that one's like blue and aqua and green and really pretty so um, this was 40% off um, which made it like seven seventy nine. Then with the twenty five percent off, see, because they they show you, like, see, with the the cling stamps, for example, was four ninety nine with the forty percent off. But then with my twenty five percent off coupon, it came down to three seventy four. So, anyways, the glitter, the glitter, this glitter is, I think, is uh twelve ninety nine. Then the forty percent off, it was seven seventy nine. And then the 25% off came down to $5.84 for this glitter. Which I saw some people finding the Martha Stewart ones like this at um, like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and stuff. And I think they were $5.99 over there. So I don't feel so bad for buying that for the $5. Okay. Sorted. Oh, these. I got three of these photo cases. China. My son had one, so it's all goopy. Um, three of these photo cases, and with the 40% off, they were. Oops. Did he mess up this now? With the 40% off, they were. Uh, let me see. 89 cents. And then with the 25% off, they came down to 67 cents each. Okay, then I got this one, the Gingerbread Man cookie cutter, and this was the same thing. It came down to um, 74 cents. And then I got the candy cane, and it came down to 74 cents. And then the last things 
I got these few stamps. I got this one with sympathy. Unfortunately, there's a couple of sick people in our family with different sorts of things going on. And unfortunately, I think I'll have to use this soon. So I also got this. Thanks for your kindness. And then just know I'm here for you. There is a bunch more, but I tried to just grab what I... Handmade by yours truly. This is probably my favorite one. And then missing you today. And I got this because my husband says that to me all the time. He'll send me a text message and he'll tell me that. He'll say, I'm missing you so much today. So I thought it would be cute if I made him a card and, and that's what it said. So anywho, that's my stuff from... You know, since Friday here and there. Um, I was going to show you a couple of the cards I made. Hold on. I might as well just bring my whole little case over there, huh? Don't want you guys to get sick. <laughs> okay. Here's my card holder carrier thingy. Take these out. I had put a couple of them away, so I wanted to show you the ones that I had made. I didn't want them to get all beat up. There's one. There's the other. My pillowcase is full of toys. That's great. I'm pretending to be Santa. Okay. For no problem. Is that it? I thought I made one more. Hold on, guys. See, I have them all like separated in their little baggies when I make them. But I have nobody to really give them to. <laughs> so, I thought I made another one. I might have shown it to you guys already. That's why I don't think it's new. Yeah. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so... I made this little card. Because I had colored in the little monster guy. You can use it for anything. You don't have to use it for... Um, Halloween, but I just used some trick-or-treat paper that Stephanie had given to me and I colored in this little monster guy. He just reminded me of my son. So that's one that I made on craft paper. And this is another one that I made. Tis the season. Um, they're from a couple different stamp sets, but see this. Let me take it out so it won't be so shiny. See the stocking, how it has the cat in it? Well, I used the same stamp three times, <laughs> but I cut the cat out so I can, you know, not every stocking is going to have a cat in it. So, um, yeah, that's what I did. And I was uh, watching Kay Werner make her cards, and she did something. I was like, oh, I want to try it. So she did something similar. So I tried what she did. Only a little different in my way, but anyways, you guys saw this one. Then I made this one, and this one is with the um, the dollar pack of cards from Michaels that look like a tag or jo Michaels or Joanne's. Then it has the the um, Walmart stamp, and I paper pieced it. I stamped it onto snowflake paper cut it out and then stamp this on the white paper and cut it out. This is the snowflake from Dollar Tree. These stars are the star confetti that I had gotten from the flea market and this little brad is from the little set from from Walmart. And I creased it right here to help the brad and the uh, snowflake stay so it just opens like that. Then I sprayed it, see the, the shimmer? I went over it with two different colored Tim Holtz inks. I did the whole thing, sort of like a snowy background. 
and then I sprayed see can you see the shine the shiny stuff um, I sprayed it with let's see if I could find it with this with the perfect pearls mist and the silver you have to shake it up until you hear the balls shake it around in there and it sprays so I sprayed it from far away onto the blue and that's what it did and then I stamped some snowflakes right there and, and I colored that in actually with my stardust pen so that's that card then I made this card and this is American Crafts cardstock or not cardstock well it is cardstock but it's a pack of cards of blank cards that Stephanie sent me in like my first rack from her these cards and then this paper is Christmas paper from I think it's that grandma's kitchen or no not grandma's kitchen what I'm talking about what's a different sack <laughs> Mrs. Claus's kitchen <laughs> it's from that one and I I had punched out some snowflakes out of glittery paper so I used the the punched out piece of paper like you know the paper that had the snowflake hole in it and I put it on top of here and I took my Tim Holtz dish inker thingy and I just rubbed it over it and it made like these lightly colored blue snowflakes there's even some behind the paper see this like real light snowflakes then this is white cardstock that I took antique linen and I rubbed it all over and then I paper pieced the Christmas tree from three different Christmas green patterns from an old Christmas pad that I had from Goodwill and I went over, I don't know if you can see the shine on the tree, but that's those stardust pens or I think that's what they're called these pens here it's just a glitter pen jelly roll think clear star is what it's called so that's what those did and I like only rounded the opposite corners and I used some of the Martha Stewart um, Baker's twine that's that one then I made this turkey day card this is with Joanne's dollar stamp and this is on like plain white paper but I took my um, antique linen I stamped this once after I took the antique linen on the white paper and I rubbed it around and I got the color that I wanted well I went and tried to like rub it again and I had stamped this in stays on and then the stays on ink went everywhere so I had to do it again and I couldn't get it right so I took my entire stamp pad and just rubbed the stamp pad on the paper a little bit until I got the the corner the color that I liked on the corner of the white paper and I stamped that and I cut them out and then this is from a border of pumpkins that Tracy sent me. I just cut out a couple of the pumpkins. This is some of that seam binding or hemp, hemp facing. I forget what it's called. Then this is some more paper that Tracy sent me on the cardstock that Stephanie sent me. And that's it. So those are the cards that I made. And that's all the stuff that I bought. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. Oh, I also found this thing at Goodwill. I got some of my Christmas things that I'm going to be using and that's where I wanted to put my ink because I wanted to put what I use most like in my reach. Look so and then something else I took some of my old CD cases and I um, well I did this Christmas set because I opened it from the recollections packaging and the entire packaging broke the whole plastic ripped so I put it in there but what I did is you know those footlongs from Hampton Art the long super long footlong package well see my little baskets there they would like flop over or the ones on the shelf it wouldn't fit and it would flop over so I put them in the CD cases so and I'm I'm looking into trying to find some some more because all those floppy packages and all this packaging went from a big mess to just these little things here so okay that's it that's all that's new <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it I have to go to work later so I'll probably talk to you guys later in the week uh, I hope you guys have a good Sunday alright guys bye